system flowchart example point of sales checkout system so the following diagram illustrates the use of system flowchart symbols for a point of sales or POS checkout system outlining the processes of collecting items calculating a total and processing a transaction so what we're saying this system is it's when you go to a shop and you buy multiple items you need to scan those items a total is then calculated by the system and then you're able to buy those products so this could be at your local supermarket or any type of retail store and I'll also try to highlight of the context whether it's a self checkout system or an employee operated system that's within the store as well okay so I'll try to keep it actually general but we're going to go through these three processes and look at the affiliated symbols so first we have collecting the actual items okay we need to scan multiple items and that process of scanning is a manual operation whether it is a customer doing it at a self checkout terminal or an employee doing it for the customer each item needs to have its barcode scanned in order to be registered by the system now each time a barcode is scanned what the actual system does is references the store database and maps that primary key of the barcode to an actual product and then it's able to retrieve its information and as you can see there I've got a double headed arrow because we obviously need to send the barcode to the database and then retrieve the information about each product and then once we get that information about each product it then appears on screen in an online display on the POS terminal so on that screen you'd see things such as the product name its price and these days a picture as well and that confirms that the correct product was scanned as well so it's also a validation method by seeing the product information appear on screen correctly so that would be the collection process from here then we then move on to calculating the total cost as each item is scanned by the system the cost is being tallied and increasing and with every scan updated on screen is the total cost okay until we scan the final product and then we have a final total cost appearing on screen for the customer to see and knowing how much it's going to cost for these to purchase all these items once again validating to the customer the actual cost and then the final process is conducting the transaction because we know the final cost now so the customer needs to pay firstly they're going to input their payment method and we're going to stick with FPOS in this case okay they will use their bank card and they will actually scan the actual uh, card and then enter in their pin now you could affiliate a manual process there with the actual uh, tapping of their card all right but I'm going to go from the angle of they entering in their pin and using an online input so they enter that into the system the system will then connect with the bank of the customer and get approval for that transaction to take place all right so a connection is made it's a telecommunications link connected to the bank online banking is being used obviously because we're using fpos and that will confirm the payment and transfer funds once that is complete okay the payment record is then stored in the actual database and the inventory is updated because all those products that got purchased well they all need to decrease by one so inventory is updated and a record of the transaction takes place on that and then that's obviously for the stores records but then the customer also needs a record of the transaction taking place too and commonly that takes place in the form of a paper based receipt all right so that gets printed off by the system and then the customer has a record of that transaction taking place as well so if there are any issues they can bring it back to the store and show them i bought this and something doesn't line up there but i hope this video has given you an understanding of how these point of system sales uh, systems work all right and, and obviously you've done this operation yourself before whether it be a part of your own part-time job whether it be that you use self checkout terminals before or you've actually gone in and had an employee scan items for you as you bought multiple things I hope you can see these operations occurring and it makes logical sense to you once again I've kind of sequenced it with the processes as the foundation and then from there linking the inputs the outputs the storage and any type of external influences to those actual processes making it a lot easier for me to create the diagram but I hope it's a diagram that is relevant to you and you can make sense of and once again expands your knowledge of the use of these different types of symbols